most of you see some of my ads and you are really really impressed with the way I create my background and most of the effect I use on my ad and that left some of you wondering what are the things I use if I create those stuff myself or if there is anything if I can share it well that is the idea behind today's video because I'm going to be giving you guys some of my stuffs I've been using over my ads and my brush I have already given out my brush aside for the premium one that I have on my Gumroad store and which I'll be giving out for free in a couple of days so right now I'm going to be giving you guys a free brush of about 100 sets or more than in this particular set and you are going to be getting a background and a bouquet and some other stuff I use for my art. Well without any waste of time let's just get right into this video. So before watching this video you want to download Fi put in the link in the description or you can watch the video before you download the file it's your choice you just know how you want to do it so when you download the video what when you download the file what you're going to get is is you can just shift delete that or you can just delete that and keep it in your recycle bin now you're going to get this folder double click and open up the folder and you're going to get the free pack folder now inside the free pack folder you can get the bg the bokeh overlay the light leaks and the brush pack first let's deal with the brush pack and leave the rest for after so inside of this brush pack all you have to do right click again and hit on extract brush pack or you can hit on extract here so now once it's done just double click on the brush pack and you're going to get two sets of brush one about 255 NB and so on but first I really have to let you guys know that I am not the creator of these brushes I actually download them and I see it's really going to be nice for you guys to make use of or just to play around with it now once you download these two brush you want to go back into Photoshop that is if you already have Photoshop open now you want to go up to Windows um, brushes and click on brushes to open up your brushes panel but I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to hit the B key on my keyboard to select the brush tool and I'm going to right click first I'm going to close these groups and I will go over to brush and hit import brush now that's going to make take me to my file explorer and if you're on Mac it's going to be your finder now you locate the place where you have the brush there's no brush inside there free pack and brush pack now you want to load them one after the other now I'm going to first of all load the untitled brush it's going to double click on that and it might take some time depending on your PC now when you open it you're going to get a whole lot of brush right in this part now this is totally free for you guys to use anyhow anytime and the way you want it now you get including the oil paint brush or so on the pastel brush and really so i've not really taken my time to go through these brushes but they are really really fantastic it's totally free for you guys to use now you can really find some awesome brushes right here which you can make use of in your own painting and so on. even up to the extent even of having chain brush right here so i'm just going to select the chain brush and let's just see what is really going to happen and I have a new layer right here and I'm just going to draw so now you can see you can use this for probably a necklace or something else which is really, really going to be awesome for you to make use of as you can see I can use that as a necklace then you can grab the eraser too and erase that but you have a lots of brushes that you can really use right here that's going to be really awesome and I guess up to somewhere like the environment brushes and, and what so on just come on feel free to make use of it and get something awesome for yourself to make use of now you can just select some brush right here which you can really make use of constantly that is if you find anyone that is really going to make sense for you for well that's just it in that brush pack so you want to right click again and this time I'm just going to close this group again and I will go over to that part and 
import brushes and select the word brush pack and it's going to import that now you have some other brushes inside here which you can still make use of you have the hard round brushes you have the soft round you have the different kind of brushes which is really really awesome for you to uh, make use of you can just go ahead and check them and it's really going to be awesome for you guys to make use of well i really don't make use of all these brushes because i have my own brush pack which i am using and i'm going to leave a link in the description where you are going to get a free brush pack till i finally give out the premium brushes for some time next in the pack we have the background have the bouquet and so on. now you can see in this pack now most of you who are really familiar with my drawing you get to see that i've been making use of all these stuff mostly the background in almost all my artwork and we we'll check right here you can see that we have the light links well i'm going to show you guys how to make use of all this stuff first coming over to the background so i'll go back into photoshop or well, like this background that i have right here well this is the word final output of this artwork so i can just hide the final output for now hide the vignetting and we have this right here so i'm going to import one of these into photoshop from the bg and the same thing i'm just going to import the same thing you drag and drop it inside of photoshop all right you drag and drop it inside photoshop and scale it up to the size of your document or if it's, if it's bigger than the size of your document you can scale it down now i'm going to drag this below the artwork which is right here now you can see that it's kind of like um having some kind of negative effect on your background so what i always do after applying this background to my as well i go over to filter and i try to apply some blur effect but i always make use of the blur the box blur the motion blur you can pick on anyone but for this i'm just going to make use of the box blur and it's always 34 now you can hit on ok now you can see how it's now blending in with your artwork now you can apply some other kind of effect which you really want like the vignetting and so on as you can see right here which is giving it a final look that is really making it so look so awesome and nice now coming to the bokeh effect and the light leak now making use of this bokeh it's when you are making use of um, an outdoor background or so on but i'm just going to show you how to make use of that so let's assume we want to make use of the bokeh in this artwork all you just have to do is to click and you drag one into photoshop and scale it up to fit the size of your artwork i'm going to hit on enter all right and that is below so i'm going to take it off because the bokeh effect is always up so i'm going to leave it that way and i'm just going to scale it up a little bit oh doesn't really matter if i scale it up just like this is pretty okay now we'll go over to the blend mode you can set the blend mode to screen or you can set it to any other one that is really going to be cool for you now i'm going to set it to screen and what select the move to on my keyboard and then i can move this across everywhere now this is not really making any sense because we are making use of kind of like a backdrop in this background so i'm going to delete that now coming over to the light list this is one of the amazing stuff i like using in most of my art it's really really awesome and cool blends in with every art indoors or outdoors depending on how you make use of it it's really really going to be cool for you to use now i have something so much awesome right yeah that's really cool so i'm just going to pick um let's just say somewhere around something from the up yeah this is okay so i'm going to drag and drop it in photoshop now i can resize it to something like this just try to make it fit in everywhere just like that right now hit on ok and i'm going to set the blend mode to screen so now you can adjust just it to the way it's going to fit your ad now you can see a whole lot of difference that it's really really adding to this ad so this is the before 
and this is the after giving it a whole lot of dramatic look and the amazing part of this is that you can also tweak the colors by making use of the hue saturation so when you hit on the control plus u on your keyboard you can bring up the hue saturation menu and you can play around with the light effect which you have now you can play around and get the particular one you need that is really going to make any sense to you guys or to you that is using all the stuff and this artwork on the screen is just the last artwork i did which i just really say i'm not really going to upload the video because this was a rushed artwork and i'm still having some kind of errors on the artwork which i'm not going to fix because i'm just done with the artwork and so on so but this time around i'm planning to go in into making a well detailed tutorial for you guys that is really going to help you learn a lot and giving out some cool brush that is really going to help you enhance your artwork and coming back to the channel name i'm still working on that finding the city we name for the channel but aside of that this brings us to the end of this video and i hope this little asset that i've been able to give to you guys and show you guys how to make use of it add a whole lot of depth or dimension to your artwork that is really going to pop more better than my own and if this really do don't forget to hit the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button use the, use the bell icon so that you don't miss any new tips and tricks i'll be posting every week um is every week i didn't post last week though it's every week because i'm finally back to posting every week so see you guys in my next video and make sure to have a nice day